West Antarctica is a challenging place to work. It is the stormiest part of the world's stormiest continent. It took more than a month and more than a dozen flights to get the scientists and their equipment to the front of the glacier. Ice-hardened ships brought in fuel and other bulky supplies, which were then dragged over the ice in an epic 1,000-mile overland journey. This was the final destination, a campsite at the point this vast glacier goes afloat. If we're thinking about what is sea level going to be like in 10 years, this glacier is the place to be, and this is the location to be asking these questions at. Boilers turned snow into water. Hot water was used to melt down into the ice. This is a historic moment, the first time anyone has tried to drill down through this glacier. Beneath the 600 metres of ice below me is the most important point of all, the point at which the ice meets the ocean water. For the first time ever, scientists could take measurements under the ice to the surprise of some local creatures. They sent down Icefin, a remotely operated robot submarine packed with scientific instruments. Oh, yes! Today, we learned the team did not find what they expected. So by taking something like Icefin underneath the ice, we can actually go right up and measure exactly where the melting is going on. And what we could see is that instead of this kind of flat ice that we had all pictured, there were all kinds of staircases and cracks in the ice that weren't really uh, expected. A team from the British Antarctic Survey using different instruments also found that the overall melt rate was lower than expected. It shows how sensitive the glacier is to even small changes in seawater temperature. So we know from satellite observations that Thwaites is retreating very quickly. And what this shows us, what the results show us, is that you actually don't need to increase the melt rate that much to drive very fast retreats. So has the glacier passed a tipping point where collapse becomes inevitable? Our observations don't necessarily tell us that, but what it does tell us is how the ice shelf is currently melting. And we can use that knowledge from today to produce better models, which can tell us better, uh, more about the future. Thwaites is at the bottom of the world, but what happens here will affect us all. The better the processes at work under this glacier are understood, the better forecasts we'll have of how our seas will rise in the decades to come. Forewarned is forearmed, they say. That is particularly important because carbon emissions, which are driving the processes warming this glacier, continue to rise rapidly. Justin Rowlatt, BBC News, Thwaites Glacier.